The older brother of Aaron Hernandez, known as DJ Hernandez, is expected to appear in court next week after he allegedly vandalized property at ESPN. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Marcy Jones is live at the Bristol Police Department this morning. Marcy, break down what happened here. That's right. Good morning. Well, according to TMZ, Dennis Hernandez, also known as DJ, was arrested last week for allegedly vandalizing the ESPN campus. Uh, this is a very bizarre incident, but also we know that this is not the first run-in that he's had with the law in the recent weeks. According to TMZ, an Uber arrived at the ESPN Bristol campus around 3 p.m. on Thursday, March 23rd. A passenger got out, threw something on the property, and got back into the car and left. A police investigation revealed the item was a brick wrapped in a white plastic bag with a handwritten note attached saying, quote, to all media outlets, it's about time you all realize the effect media has on all family members. Since you're a worldwide leader, maybe you could lead how media and messages are delivered brick by brick. Clean it up. TMZ says police say the note was signed, yours truly, Dennis J. Hernandez. The 36-year-old was arrested for breach of peace in the second degree and was subsequently released on a promise to appear in court. Eyewitness News has learned that DJ was wanted by Cheshire Police earlier this month. The March 8th arrest warrant states that DJ attempted to charge $7,000 on his mother's credit card, and she thought DJ was in need of a mental evaluation. Police add they believe he was having a bipolar episode. I actually went to Bristol Central when Aaron was a senior. Uh, DJ, I didn't know really much about, but I know he had like a lot of school records for football. That's kind of crazy. I don't know why somebody would do that, especially at ESPN. As uh, the condition worsens, right, like that bipolar episode unfolds, they become more and more disconnected from reality and doing more and more bizarre things. And that feeling of like superiority and invincibility increases where they, they really uh, have a hard time kind of like gauging their actions. Hernandez is expected in court April 6th and then again on April 13th. Of course, we will bring the updates as they roll in. But for now, that's the latest. Reporting live in Bristol, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Marcy, thank you. They